of you guys is Max Patience here. You already know what's going on, so just to skip the boring intro and get right into it. Now, as you can see, for episode number four, I have switched around the camera angle. I realized that I put the camera on the wrong side, so I'm hoping now that it will be on the right side if I'm doing my thinking correctly. Now, as you guys can see, it is the morning after Love Day, after it was a successful Love Day, might I add, and we are currently trying to get all of Cinderella's skills up. I do want to just have them age up normally. I don't want to kind of like rush through things in a sense, but I do want to try and get as much of her skills done before the next baby arrives because as we all know she is pregnant in her second trimester and her third trimester starts in 26 minutes so that means tomorrow morning we are going to be getting our second baby so what we're going to be doing today while our lovely Paolo is off at work, we are going to be working on Cinderella's skills. Now, her skills are already fairly high as of right now. Her movement, potty, and imagination skills are all level 1. Her communication is level 2, and her thinking is level 3. So, let's just pray to the gods that I can get her skills up at least to level three by today before the next baby comes or we might be a little screwed because we're gonna have two toddlers that we're gonna have to worry about raising skills with also when there is another toddler it really helps that they can work together to build up their skills so I'm hoping that's gonna help out as well but other than that let us press play and get going. So I'm currently having her potty train our lovely Cinderella. Now I just realized we don't have a bed for Cinderella. Well, we gotta change that. We can't have our poor little Cinderella not have a bed. So let's take a look here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm just gonna put it over here. Now again, I have no idea how this is going to work when we have multiple toddlers in the house because all the kids are going to need their own beds. But I'm hoping that we can uh, figure it out. I'm also hoping that we can make a little bit more money so then I might be able to just expand this room a little bit more. All right, so Cinderella is now officially thinking level four. I'm hoping to be able to continue to work on her thinking skill, get it up to level five. That will be one skill down, only four more to go. I'm also thinking of giving Snow White a little bit of a break and having Paolo raise up some of Cinderella's skills. Because Snow White and Cinderella, as you can see, have a super high full bar for their relationship, but when you look at Paolo, it's still only about half, so I want to try and work on that and get that going, but I'm so happy that she is finally a level 4 skill on something, so then I can continue to build up her skills. Now, as you guys know, it helps when parents work with the toddlers to build up their skill set because it just goes by so much quicker when they're helping out. So, I'm going to switch over so Paolo can help with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and have Snow do some painting. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just gonna have them do their thing. I'll come back probably when Paolo's off at work and we can check in on Cinderella's skills. Okay, so Paolo is officially off to work, which just leaves the lovely ladies here at home. Bess? Why is Bess calling me? Do you wish to look as happy as I do? Well, you have the power. Just send one simoleon to me. Don't delay. Happiness is just a simoleon away. How about 
I hang up. Oh, your telemarketing scam didn't work? I'm so sorry. So once Snow White has finished this painting, I want her to continue helping out Cinderella with her skills. She is so close to being level 5 and thinking she's 54% complete. So we should definitely be finishing that skill up. Alright, so now the snow has finished her painting. It is time for us to continue with Cinderella building up her skills. I just got a notification. The Festival of Snow has started. Now, I've never seen this festival of whatever stuff. I know, I believe it's part of the Snowy Escape thing, but I haven't gone to it. So maybe at some point we will go to a festival. Probably going to wait until the kids are a little bit older. I don't want to be taking toddlers around everywhere with me because it can just be a little bit difficult to do that. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just going to continue working on her skills. I'll probably be back either sometime later today when Paolo comes back home or in the morning to see when the baby is here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're so close. Come on. Yes! Hallelujah! She has reached level 5 in thinking, which means that we can start to focus on another skill. I think we're going to work on communication because it's level 2 as of right now. So that should hopefully be a little bit easier. Alright, let's teach animals and then we'll teach her to talk after that as well. I'm just so happy that we have one skill, especially since the baby's coming tomorrow morning. And we're going to soon have another toddler to deal with. Alright, so Cinderella is level 3. We are so close. Paolo just came home from work as well. Which is great. I can have him do some stuff around the house. So not only has Cinderella reached communication level 4, but Snow just painted her very first masterpiece. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Somewhere in the house. Put it there for right now and then I'll move it around later. Of course I want to keep her very first masterpiece painting, but all the other ones I am going to sell, obviously, because it's money and they need it. Okay, so, um, Snow has now officially gone into labor, so I'm just going to quickly sell this painting because we got a little bit of time. And we're going to go ahead and go to the hospital to have our baby. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see who the next baby is going to be. I don't know. I'm not really, like, hoping for either a boy or a girl or whatever. Um, I'm just hoping to have another child. Now, of course, this means a whole lot of more work for the whites. Oh, thank goodness gracious, the doctor is not an elder anymore, but the receptionist still is. So, again, because Snow cannot talk to elderly women, I'm just going to have to wait for her to, like, automatically be administered into the hospital to have the baby. Now, of course, it's going to be difficult with a baby and a child, toddler, in the house. But with a lot of her skills up, Cinderella should not be too much of a hassle, I'm hoping. But uh, it'll depend on how fussy this baby is. Because sometimes the baby is crying every five seconds, and sometimes the baby is quiet and happy like our little Cinderella. So I'm hoping it's going to be the second option, but of course we're not going to know until we have the baby. Okay, so Snow's been admitted, but she isn't going to have the baby, so now I'm confused. I'm going to have her check in at the front desk because it's now an adult. Maybe that will help. Okay, am I going to need to have this baby in the middle of the hospital lobby? Because I will. Just watch me. <sighs> Is she stuck? Is this like some sort of glitch or something? Because I want her to have this baby. Oh. 
And I don't understand why it's not letting her have this baby. Oh, I don't know what to do. Because there doesn't seem to be any sort of doctor here. Did the doctor leave? Because I remember seeing the doctor, but... Okay, I'm going to have her go home. Because I literally don't know what else to do. Or is it not going to let me go have her go home? I'm not going to sit here all day and wait for her to have this child. Or wait for you to get your stuff together. Like, come on. I don't know what to do. It won't even let me... Okay, I'm going to save and exit and come back and see if that... Because I think there's some sort of glitch or something going on. So I'll be back in a second. I've literally been here all freaking day. And nobody has come to help Snow have her baby. The game... I don't understand what's going on. All I know is that this is pissing me off and I don't know what to do. Because there literally... Like, there isn't a doctor... It just keeps having me... Okay, I'm gonna... Send... Okay. Okay. Something's happening. I had her, like, send her alone. And I'm hoping that that worked. Yes, here we go! Okay! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. <gasps> We're having another girl! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Yay! Okay, so now that we have our next little child, it is now time to move on with the dwarves. So what I'm going to be doing with the seven dwarf children, because Cinderella is the oldest, I'm going to have her as Doc because Doc was kind of the leader of the group. And for the rest of the seven dwarves, I'm going to be taking the first letter of their name and whatever letter that is is going to be what the first letter of the child's name is going to be so then we can kind of associate a child with a dwarf. So the first one that I see is Sneezy. So because it's a girl it starts with an S. So I think we'll call her Sally. So we're going to have little Sally White as our little baby girl. And we're going to follow Snow back home and I'm so glad that we finally have this child. We have another little girl in the house. I'm so excited. So now what we're going to be doing, obviously, is taking care of the baby. Plus, we have to continue to get Cinderella's skills up, which is going to be a doozy. So first of all, obviously, we're going to be changing Snow's outfit to her every day. Because I'm not going to have her walk around in her nightgown anymore. Thank you. Now the baby, we're just going to do the regular feeding, changing the diaper, just to make sure that she's all good to go, nothing's wrong. Now for Cinderella, in terms of her skills, she's almost level 2 potty, level 2 movement, level 1 imagination, and level 4 communication. I'm hoping to be able to get communication to level 5, and maybe hopefully getting potty up to level 2 as well before the end of the day. Now, of course, because imagination is still at level 1, that one's going to take quite a while. Uh-oh. She's angry. Unwanted sibling! She doesn't want her little sister? Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you're gonna have five more siblings after this, so... Uh, just get prepared for that, alright? Just be... Be prepared for a lot more siblings. So I'm going to have Snow, hopefully, if she does what I'm asking her to, Continue to teach her communication skills because we are super, super close to getting it finished. So hopefully it will be done. And then when Paolo gets home, I'll have him continue working with Cinderella while Snow kind of looks after the baby, maybe paints a couple more things for the home and for the money. 
Now, we haven't made a lot more than 50 grand. I'm a little nervous to go under 50 grand just because I want to make sure Cinderella has something before she goes off on her own and moves out. So, I'm hoping probably by the third child that we will have a larger bedroom over here. I'll do some sort of great, okay? Paolo is back home. He's earned us some more money, which is always good. Now I'm going to go ahead and take care of their needs. I'll be back by tomorrow morning and hopefully we will have Snow pregnant again. Okay, so we are super, super close to Cinderella being communication level five. Come on, girly, I believe in you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, yes! All right, so she is communication level five. That means two down, three more to go. Now I'm thinking I'm going to work on her potty skill next because it only has to be level three. And then we can work on movement and then imagination. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to have Paolo get started on his daily tasks for work because he hasn't started them yet and he works on the weekends so he's got to do it because I want him to get some lovely promotions to make us some more money. Now Snow has actually managed to do a couple more masterpieces and has made us quite a bit more money so I'm hoping that once Snow White finishes his painting she'll be able to go ahead and help Cinderella with more of her skills, leveling them up plus taking care of the baby. Now can I just say, Sally has been a great baby. Okay, she has only cried twice this entire time and she's mostly slept. Uh, right now she's just sitting here all happy, dandy, go lucky, great gal. So yeah, again, I just, I'm just great. I just always have such fantastic babies. I'm saying that now before something bad happens, uh, but so far so good. No, no issues yet. Okay, so it is the next day and I really want to have Snow and Paolo get pregnant again so we can get that third baby on the way because, you know, we got a lot more. So first we gotta help the little baby. I have Cinderella working on her stockings and she can continue to bring up her movement skill. And hopefully we will get a third child on the way. All right, Paolo, let's uh, see what you're made of. Okay. All right, so the two of them are going to go ahead and try for a baby. And Cinderella is doing really great with her movement skills. She's almost level three. Oh, this is so exciting. She's also level two potty now. So you're super close to finishing that up as well. All right, so let's get this started. Let's, well, let's speed through this first and then we'll get started. No, 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 no. You stay in there, okay. So. They have finished the deed. It is now time to go ahead and check, see if she is pregnant. I'm really, really hoping that she is. Yes! Eating for two. A third time, baby. That's right. We got the third child on the way. We are killing the game. I'm so excited. Oh. <sighs> This is going to be interesting now because we got a baby, we got a Todd, we're going to get another baby soon in a, in a few days, which means we're going to have a lot of toddlers, which is going to be exciting. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm so excited to see who the next baby is going to be. Who knows, maybe it'll be a boy. Maybe we'll have another girl. Maybe we'll just have a house full of girls, which is totally fine. And hopefully Cinderella is going to be a child soon. I don't know when she's aging up. 
but I know it's soon on Saturday, so in not a very long time, she's going to be aged up into a child, which is super, super exciting. And of course, tomorrow, Sally is going to become a toddler. But other than